So I didn't start off with the typical life as a child. My mother and father raised me till I was about two years old, and then my mom had a drinking problem, and then my father ended up splitting and going to Florida. It was, it was different, not having a father to look up to, not having that mother figure to talk to, and even when my mom was around, you know, my family life was still unstable. She liked to party, she thought she was a lot younger than she was, and so there'd be nights where It'd be my, me and my brother at home till two, three in the morning. So for comfort, I would call my Aunt Peggy and, uh, oh boy. And I would talk to her till I could fall asleep and you know feel comfortable. Since I didn't have stability in my life, you know, I struggled with my identity as well. Um, I started dating at a young age. Um, I found my identity in sports. I thought I was pretty athletic. Um, I looked up to my cousins a lot, you know, because they were the closest things, the role models to my knowledge. And so growing up, I wanted to be a ladies man. I wanted to be an all-star in the baseball field. And I also had the ambitions of being a thug or, you know, a little gangster, whatever you want to call it. So in sixth grade, when I started playing baseball, you know, finally, Something in my life felt like it was going right. I had baseball and I'm actually in a stable place for once in my life. I'm in Grayson, you know, I know we're not moving ever again. And it was a great year, except for towards the end, I ended up failing sixth grade because I never went to school. I just wanted to play baseball. I didn't care about anything else. And so like seeing all my friends move on and seeing me just chilling in the same grade the next year kind of sucked and there was one night where I woke up in the middle of the night and I didn't know the people I was in my house my mom was having a party and I ended up walking into the garage and my mom was passed out in the garage and we got in a huge fight and she ended up throwing a beer bottle at me so I went to my room I called my aunt and I asked her I was like Peg can you please come pick me up and from that moment on I started living with my aunt, and I finally had a mom and dad figure that I could look up to, and school started doing better. I, I went to summer school. I passed that. I was actually back on track to where I was supposed to go, and it always seemed like baseball was the constant thing in my life to where I could always just let everything go, you know, and just play this game, and when I was playing, nothing else really mattered. And one day after a game, my friend's dad came up to me and you know, he was asking me about my father. And he was telling me that he was part of the Big Brother Association. And my mom started talking to him, my aunt started talking to him, liked the idea. And so I started hanging out with my buddy JT, who was on my team, and then his dad AJ. And one Saturday, they asked me if I wanted to go to church with them. And I said, yeah, well, a few weeks into that, I started realizing who God was. And I remember this day so vividly, AJ looked at me and was like, Jojo, if you were to die right now, where would you go? And that's a pretty bold question to ask somebody, but uh, I knew I'd go to hell. And that's not something you want to say in front of your brothers. And uh, we, uh, set up a day for me to get baptized and that's when I gave my life over to Christ for the first time. I didn't really know what that was going to cost me from that moment on. So following Christ was pretty easy for a year. I didn't take my shirt off in front of women. I was not, I wasn't cussing, I wasn't doing anything wrong. In my eyes, I was literally a perfect Christian. And um, then the devil attacked again and took my mentor, my spiritual leader, AJ, and he ended up going to jail. So there went my connection to God. You know, the person who I always talked about Jesus to was taken away. So after AJ went to jail, my life took a turn for the worst. And my high school life consisted of drinking, girls, and baseball. And I was pretty good at all three. I even got a scholarship from it, from baseball, of course and I got to live the college life, no parents to tell me what to do. 
then something happened. I ended up having an injury that could have potentially ended my career. And I had to sit out for a whole year. I didn't know what to do. I thought God was trying to ruin me. He took away baseball. He took away my father. He took away my mother. And basically he just took away what I thought was my entire identity. I was at my last little thread and I thought God owed me something. Through the surgery, you know, God really started to reveal him, himself in ways I'd never seen before. You know, it really started getting to the point where it wasn't God owed me anything, it was really more like he owned me. You know, I was really looking forward to what he had in store for me in my life.